Stayallday.com What you're watching here is another drill series mixtape, which I talked about as I talk about in all the beginning of all the mixtapes is that this is a mix of several drills that I did in the workout. This particular workout is about a post moves, back to the basket post moves, high post moves from the elbow foul line area, mid post moves from the baseline area and the mid post facing up to the basket. So it's a lot of moves where you can use your quickness, where you can use your jump shot, jump shot and also using your footwork. So no matter what position you play, you can use these moves. So me personally, I'm six foot four, I'm a guard. So if I can use these moves, any of you can use these moves. It doesn't matter what size you are to play in the post. It's just your ability to use the skills that you have against whatever player that you're playing against. So any questions you got about any of this, of course you can leave those in the comments. Each of these drills that you see will also be, you'll be able to see these individually on YouTube as I post them individually. Some might be up already, some might not be up yet, but they all will eventually be up. I'm going to give a brief description of each drill at the beginning of it, but I'm not going to give a full description as I do in the individual videos. So you can check those out one by one as they come out, and you can check this whole drill series mixtape here as it goes. Any opinions you got about this, questions, as I said, comments, leave those down there in the bottom. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video. I think that's that. Work on your game. Dre all day. Move here. I'm catching in the mid range, the mid post facing up area. I'm going to do a hard jab step towards the middle, attack towards the baseline. Then I'm going to pivot spin off that one dribble and get it in. You see, I'm working on the footwork there. The footwork is the key to getting this move right. Here on the right side, I'm going to catch in the mid post area. This is about 15 to 17 feet. As I catch, I'm going to jab step hard in one direction. Jab step hard towards the baseline. Then I'm going to attack. My dribble is going to go toward the middle. And then I'm going to spin right back, pivot spinning right back towards the baseline. Make a little hop there off that dribble, a little hop move to get spun back around and finish. Here I'm going to catch the ball near the elbow area. I'm going to use a rip move, ripping that ball up over the defender's shoulders, past his head, past his ear. One dribble and I'm going to raise up for the hook. So important thing is I got to try to get that ball out my hand before my pivot foot moves. You know, in America we get away with that even if it's close. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So use it at your own risk. If you're scared, you get a dog. Here I'm going to catch at the elbow on the left side. I'm going to make a quick rip move. So I want to catch it and go. As soon as I catch it, I don't want to give a chance for the defender to look. I'm not going to set up and look at the defense or survey the floor. I'm just going to catch, make a quick rip, go one dribble on a hook shot right over the top.
cast this pass on the baseline area of the post. I'm going to back down a little bit, look over the right shoulder, look over the left shoulder, then come back towards the middle. So I'm going to look over the left, then the right, which is the baseline side. Then I'm turning back over my left shoulder for the short turnaround jumper hook shot. Catching here on the left block area off the block. I'm going to look towards the middle first. You see I turn my body towards the middle. And then I'm going to turn towards the baseline. And then I'm going to come back to the middle for my shot. So I just want to keep my hand on top of that ball as I dribble. Make sure I'm not palming it or carrying it. I cast this pass here off the block mid post area. I'm going to turn a few times as I did in the previous drill, but now I'm going to give a little shimmy move there. So you see, I kind of, before I take that shot, notice how my feet hop up. So I don't establish a pivot foot. I don't establish the pivot till I turn to shoot and hit that turn around J on the baseline. this side I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to turn to the middle, then baseline, then I'm going to come back towards the baseline there. And I'm going to hop up into my shimmy move there. I call it the washing machine. See how I shimmy there? I'm hopping both feet into that, into that fake. So I have not established a pivot foot. So I can turn either way. So the defense has to wait until I turn before they can defend the shot. Off the catch here, baseline side, I'm going to turn towards the baseline, give a shot fake, take one or two hard dribbles towards the rim, and attack and finish violently. You finish aggressively at the basket.
catching a ball here. I'm going to turn towards the baseline, give a shot fake, and I'm pivoting all the way around on that right foot. Swing that left foot around, take one hard dribble, two big steps, attack the rim, and make sure you finish it. Put it down. Catching on the baseline here. I'm going to give that same shot fake attack towards the basket with one dribble. Then I'm going to pivot spin right back to the middle. So this is all in the hips here. You just got to have good hip action. Get low. Drop your hips when you do that spin. Turn back to the baseline and shoot. Right side here catching. I'm going to give that shot fake and dribble as if I may attack the basket, same as I did in the previous move. But I'm going to use one more pivot spin move, taking me back to the baseline side, and then I'm shooting the turnaround fadeaway jump shot. Catching the ball here in the mid post area, I'm going to make a quick spin move off the catch. So I'm kind of hopping into the catch. As I catch the ball, I want to have both feet in the air kind of so I can go straight into a spin move. I haven't established a pivot foot. So I'm going to get the defense moving, get them recovering towards the baseline. Then I'm going to spin back to the middle and then I'm going to finish. Here I'm going to make this catch, try to get both feet in the air as I catch the ball so there's no pivot foot established, attack towards the baseline, get my defender recovering, then I'm going to spin back to the middle, finish with the baby hook shot right in front of the rim. Catching this pass at the elbow area. I'm going to face up kind of three quarters towards the defense with my hip between a man and a ball. I'm going to use a quick little jab, step back, step there, and then I'm going to shoot my mid-range jumper. Catching on the right elbow here. I'm going three quarter there. So my hip is turned towards the basket. So my, the body is all between the man and the ball. I'm going to use a quick little step back, jab, step move there, one dribble, and then I'm shooting the mid range pull up.
here coming off the block mid post area I'm going to face up a little bit use a quick jab step jab step towards the middle attack the baseline pivot spin I'm going to use a scoop layup at the basket Catching in the mid post area here. I'm going to jab step hard towards the middle, attack towards the baseline. So I kind of want to kind of hop so I don't have a pivot for the stab. It's once I start to dribble, spin back towards the baseline side, and I'm going to use a scoop layup to finish. So spin back towards the middle, and then I'm going to use the layup to finish. On the triple threat position, top of the key here, I'm going to attack hard off the dribble. I'm going to use the, the European move. So I'm going to start my dribble. Instead of going with one dribble off that first step, I'm going to take a dribble, then attack. Use a quick snatch back move, then pull up for the jump shot. So you can take that extra bounce there as I do several times here, or you can go straight up into the shot, whichever works for you. Here, I'm going to attack to the left this time. So I'm going to start my dribble before I move my feet, and then I'm going to take a snatch back dribble. Hard snatch back after I attack towards the basket. You can take one more bounce off the snatch before your shot, as I'm doing here, or you can go straight up for the shot. So a lot of times in America, we like to just do the rip and move. So I'm doing this the, the FIBA style, where I'm taking the dribble, then attacking with my feet. George, from New York, work on your game. 